with the represent uh, the Sony community to share what has happened in last year and what we have achieved and what's coming. Earlier this year, Gartner did a research on data center networking industry. Based on the research result, they predict by 2025, 40% of organizations that operate large data center networks, which means more than 200 switches, we are run Sonic in production environment. Due to the rapid growth of customer interest and the commercial ecosystem, there is a strong possibility that Sonic will become the Linux of the networking. We are very excited about this prediction. Uh, thousands of engineers in the community are working very hard to enable this um, open source network switch OS to benefit more people. Before we start talking about latest development uh, in the Sony community, let me give a very brief intro to the new audience. Uh, what is Sonic? Sonic is a switch OS built based on Linux. It enables the full hardware software disaggregation as well as disaggregation between software components. Building on top of um, switch abstraction interface interface which is um, standard uh, standard uh, APIs it enables the North the network OS to run on top of different hardware platforms and the silicon packaging uh, the software components with uh, uh, using a docker container uh, this enable the components to be able to evolve independently uh, make it very easy to customize or extend uh, to a customer's uh, specific scenario. Leveraging Linux and Docker uh, ecosystem, rich ecosystem, we have a lot of tooling to choose um, for you to manage uh, the network. Ecosystem and scenarios has been growing very rapidly. Starting uh, from the data center scenarios in 2016, uh, 20, uh, 20, 20, 2017, um, uh, Sonic was adopted by many different uh, uh, communities uh, to enterprise scenarios or like to optical communities uh, to be the north of optical devices. This year, uh, the DCSG group that is disaggregate cell uh, disaggregate uh, cell site gateway group in the TIP organization that is Teleco infrastructure project allows that they will uh, leverage Sonic uh, as the switching OS for their hardware platform. And um, also we have seen uh, in the community in the industry, uh, many people start to investigate in the um, so on the server side, how to leverage Sonic to build limitless um, network for high performance. I will leave this to Yan Zhao who will cover this in the later part of the talk. With that, I'm going to give the talk to Yan Zhao. Thanks, Xin. This is Yan Zhao. I'm very glad to deliver this talk on behalf of the Sonic community. Sonic community has rich ecosystems from the merchant silicon to the system services. At the bottom of this page, you can see all the existing partners. This year, we have six new partners. Welcome. At the top line, from left to the right, you can see the new partners are Raja, a China-based network company delivering the switch platforms and network solutions. H3C, a China-based digital solution company delivering the innovative software uh, switch platforms and related products. Supermicro, a US-based technology company delivering the innovative switch platforms and other hardware. Pantheon, a Slovakia-based network company delivering innovative network software. Camo Network, a startup company. The last one is the mate one, one China top network company providing comprehensive online offline services. Thanks all the partner for the contribution. Sonic community keeps delivering two releases each year. Within five years, 
members grow 17 times from 100 to 1700. The supported platforms grow from single digital to 105. Very fast growth. Sonic is quickly expanding to new areas as well. Eight new subgroups were created in the past year to work on different topics, including P4, DEVS, security, young model, chassis, MPLS, Kubernetes, and application extension. Huge thanks to all the contributors for the contribution. Looking forward to more innovative ideas and features. In the following section, Rita and I will talk about several new use cases. The first one is the Sonic Dash, a project to deliver cross-platform, cross-wonder, disaggregated APIs with Sonic. We have seven target scenarios, including load balance, VNet, etc., etc. This innovation can deliver the enterprise network performance to some critical cloud applications, empower limitless networking with 100 times connection skill improvement over software. It's an open forum. We welcome hardware vendors and contributors to join this project. Now I will hand over this to my colleague, Rita. Uh, so the next major use case being added in Sonic is pins, which um, uh, there is a, a actually demo and exhibition outside in the uh, expo hall as well. Uh, with pins, it enables or uh, allows Sonic uh, to have even more SDN-based uh, data plane possibilities. So actually, right after this one, there is a deep dive. Uh, so I give a very uh, quick, uh, high-level introduction. Um, the side pipeline is uh, modeled uh, into P4, and then the P4 info is compiled. And then uh, the, with that, the SDN controller supporting the P4 info spec can then talk to Sonic, a new Sonic container, P4 info, um, to receive the information via gRPC. After that, then the P4 odds, a new uh, P4 odds, will be able to um, uh, program the side pipeline with the side APIs and with that then the hardware can actually be programmed uh, as per instructions from the SDN controller. Um, so with this, with pins, then operators can have more controls and more flexibility to update the data plane. Uh, furthermore, the side pipeline can also be extended uh, by the P4 uh, extension as well. Another major use case is still Tor uh, using a smart cable. Uh, that's a, a high availability solution for top of rack switches. Uh, traditionally, M lag it's, uh, or MC lag is a pretty uh, popular uh, feature that is widely deployed. However, it has its challenges. Um, there is a link in between two Tor switches, what we call an inter switch link. Uh, when there are links failures between the Tor and the uh, server, then traffic needs to go across the inter-switch link. Um, so then you, you need to have sufficient bandwidth uh, for these links, so that occupies ports on the Tor switches. Uh, secondly, uh, the state and table synchronizations between the Tors are fairly complicated. Uh, so then when there's any out of sync, um, it's uh, not uncommon to see misforwarding. Also, uh, if the two Tors, uh, the links broken, then uh, you could run into what we call split brain scenarios, which uh, could be problematic as well. So this uh, solution, basically, it's uh, leveraging smart cable or uh, active electric cable, um, which can fail over traffic in uh, less than a second. For Sonic, um, we have a new DUTOR uh, management or MUX container, uh, which does the uh, cable failover control, uh, state management and probing, etc. With this, um, then there is no need of uh, handling all the syn uh, state synchronizations across the tours, 
And um, basically, a lot of the complexities of MLAC uh, is no, long, no longer there. Also, um, it eliminates the needs of having dual NICs uh, in the server as well. So uh, a quick highlight or recap of the new features and solutions added. Um, uh, we talked about Sonic Dash, uh, the dual tour with smart cable and pins. Uh, last year, we also talked about disaggregated chassis. Um, on the forwarding or protocol area, there are uh, IPv6 enhancements such as uh, v6 link local, DHCP relay, BGP unnumbered. Um, and then eVPN VXLAN is enhanced to support layer 2 forwarding over P to, ton P to MP tunnels. If there are multiple VXLAN tunnels to uh, VTAP endpoints, uh, the overlay ECMP feature will be very helpful. And uh, fine-grained ECMP uh, will allow users to send traffic uh, with more granularity. Also on the uh, Docker management area, uh, there is a Sonic container warm restart uh, to improve the uh, container reliability. And then also we added the Kubernetes support, uh, which is um, able to automatically deploy uh, or uh, manage the containers. Yeah, so we continue to have a lot of test contributions in Sonic. Uh, we have three major test infrastructures, PyTest, SpyTest, and Snappy. For PyTest, the number of test cases uh, is over 2,000. That is com uh, doubled compared to that of year 2020. Uh, we also test images from the master branch every day uh, in order to uh, avoid any regression and keep the quality bar. Uh, and uh, we have extended test coverage to new scenarios such as dual tour, chassis, RDMA. Uh, ANVL is added uh, for protocol conformance. Uh, also, across many Sonic repositories, there are test unit test uh, modules, and the unit test coverages have been increasing as well. Um, currently, in the SAI community, uh, we're working on uh, re revamping the SAI uh, test suites with PTF. I think later on today, we have a session on that. Uh, there's a Sonic App Store coming soon as a heads up. Uh, basically, that's the Sonic application extension. Uh, so with that, then uh, people will have more gran granular way to contribute to the features. Uh, not every single feature needs to be installed in Sonic. And then there's a common place to host these uh, Sonic compatible uh, applications. Uh, and then, but yet there will be common provisioning flow uh, with versioning uh, uh, and also upgrades control as well. So finally, uh, I continue to invite everyone to contribute to Sonic and Sci uh, with new hardware platforms and new features, uh, toolings, or just to use it. Uh, yeah, and you can go to our website uh, for more information. Any question? Thank you.